Hi guys, Angel Fish Keeper here and I'm doing another fish profiles and this one's on the Keyhole Cichlid or Clethromoni Oh no, sorry, Clethrocara Romoni Maroni I've probably butchered that, Clethrocara Maroni I believe that is right The pronunciation might be a little bit wrong But this is a nice little cichlid endemic to the Amazon Basin in South America uh, so basically the entire of Brazil really is this little guy's distribution it's a nice little cichlid only getting to around 4 inches which is 10 centimeters I believe so it doesn't quite fit the bill of dwarf cichlid I would class dwarf cichlids 3 inches and under that's where my range is with dwarf cichlids. Anything bigger I would just class as a small cichlid. Which is these guys. Really nice and peaceful. Really easy to sex. So if you look at this guy, you see his dorsal fin. He has really long streamers on his anal fin and dorsal fin. Indicating that that is a male. And if I can spot the other one really short streamers even though now she's gone and hid in, and the dorsal fin actually ends in a slight curve indicating that is a female so it is a male and female pair really nice peaceful cichlid they are really underappreciated and I think the main reason for that is just they're not very colourful they're more of like a cream brown and then obviously they've got the curved black line going through the eye and then the keyhole shape in the middle, which gives them the name Keyhole Cichlid. But I think despite that, they're a very pretty fish in their own right. You know, they've got like the white and blue to the fins. You know, they've got the nice red eye. Really underappreciated fish. Very peaceful. It's like an oversized ram, basically. It's like an oversized Bolivian ram or something like that, you know. But they're very underappreciated and you can keep them with anything. Like, even when they're breeding, they're not aggressive fish, you know. When it comes to breeding, they dig a hole in the substrate, like a little crater. Female lays her eggs in there and they'll also rear the fry in there as well until they're strong enough to swim about on their own. And if any other fish come near, they just gently usher them away, or just gently shove them away, you know. There's no fin nipping or anything like that. They don't do it aggressively towards the other fish. And these guys you can keep with larger shrimp. Like I've got mine in with bamboo shrimp. Because these guys get quite large. These will get about you know, four inches eventually, so these guys aren't going to be able to eat them. But cherry shrimp and that, when these guys get a little bit bigger, they might munch them. So it's just side on precaution. With that one, but now you can keep these guys with angelfish, discus, uh, geophagus, pike cichlids, uh, Cynodontus cats, literally anything other than African cichlids because you know they tend to be a lot more aggressive. Any South American fish really that is commonly found, obviously you wouldn't keep them with arowana or red tail cats or shovel nose cats, but all your larger peaceful South American cichlids do perfectly fine. Fire mouths you'd be able to keep these with. I'd do it in a bigger tank, but you could do it. But these guys don't need a large tank, only getting 4 inches, I've just got mine in a 70 litre tank, you know. They don't need a large tank. Not fussy on water parameters, pH from 7.5, uh, sorry from 6.5 to 7.5, could even go up to 8 for these guys. And you could go all the way down to 6. If you really wanted to, you just got to be careful when you've got your pH that low because of the bacteria. 
when your pH is that acidic it's very easy for your tank to crash which is a bad thing so I would try and keep it neutral about 7, 7.2 for these guys is where you want it temperature 26 all the way to 30 if you're keeping them with discus they will tolerate that I keep mine at 28 so it's kind of bang in the middle of that they're being very timid at the minute they're not normally not this timid they're not a shy fish this is I'm doing water changes on all my tanks so they're next but yeah really nice peaceful six and they're dirt cheap as well so you can pick them up for next to nothing I really don't know why there's not more of them you know they're really underappreciated little cichlids But yeah, basically just an update, not an update, a fish profile on the keyhole cichlid. If you want any more information on them, or like a more in-depth video on how to actually keep them, just let me know in the comments and I will do that. And if I've missed anything that you think I should have mentioned, because I probably have, you know, there's a lot of things to list off you know off the top of your head so I've probably missed one or two things but if I have just leave them in the comments thanks for watching please like comment and subscribe bye